intentional walk going to be issued to Thomas Albert now. And that'll bring up Anthony Dunn with an opportunity to win it here in the bottom of the ninth. See how the defense plays. It looks like they're going to be in at the corners, halfway up the middle, looking for a double play. And Dunn will step in with a chance to win it for Doan. First pitch to Dunn. Taken for a called strike. Count 0 and 1. And time going to be requested at the plate. 3-3 three to three is our score, bottom of the ninth inning. Doan with the bases loaded and one out. Buford looking in for the sign. Comes set. The pitch, it's in the dirt, backhanded by Cooper. That holds Albert on at third base. One and one the count. Dunn has been a hard luck hitter here in this game. Has an opportunity here to come through. The Tigers senior steps back in, one and one the count. The pitch, Bunn is shown, squeeze play was put on, and the ball got away from the catcher, and the Tigers upset the defending national champions as they win four to three. The crowd is going wild, and the Tiger players have rushed the field. Tigers had the squeeze play on, the pitch was in the dirt, skipped away from the catcher, and Mike Albert scores with the stolen base. And Doan wins it 4-3, to three, and they move in to a game tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock as they'll take on Point Park University. Doan defeats the defending national champions, Concordia University, 4-3, to three, as the Cardiac Kids come through once again, and all three games decided by one run here on day number one. And we have an exciting bracket here in... Marion, Indiana. Doan will play tomorrow at 4 o'clock in a winner's bracket game. And they'll be sending Elliot Engel to the mound more than likely tomorrow afternoon. So until next time, I am Rick Schmecker saying thanks for listening. Good night, everybody. Don't college at the production.